In this video, we'll take a look at adding error bars to bar charts in Google Sheets. Error bars are often used in statistical charts to show standard deviation. In other words, an acceptable range for which the numbers shown might differ. For example, a data point might state that 100 people in a group love purple pants. If the deviation is 5, that means the actual number might be anywhere between 95 and 105. Let's set this up on a chart. I've got a spreadsheet open with some statistics on different drinks and how many gallons are consumed per year. In case you're wondering, no, they're not accurate numbers. I'll highlight the data and make a chart. In the sidebar that opens up, we need to click on Customize. Then open up the Series dropdown. Towards the bottom, there is a checkbox for error bars. Clicking on that adds the bars to my chart and opens up a couple of options. We can set the error type to be a percentage or a constant number. I'll go with constant for this example and set the value to 5. Now the chart is updated with error bars representing a deviation of 5. That works great when you need a consistent deviation across all of your data points. but what if you want them to be different? To do that, we need to go to the setup section in the sidebar and check the switch rows and columns box. You'll see the chart change a bit and notice that the sidebar now has each series broken out individually. We'll go back to the customize tab and click on series. Now we can see a drop down that says apply to all series. If I click on that, I can select an individual series to edit. Now if I check the error bars box, the value will only apply to the selected series. Then I can go back to the drop down and choose another one to edit. And give it its own values. This can be done for each series individually to fit your entire data set. There's a lot more customization that can be done, but that is the basics for getting your error bars set up. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, click on the like button or share it with somebody else who might like it. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in another video.